when you go into a screening and people are crying and people are cheering, it's, it brings home that what we do goes right into people's lives and it's pretty impactful. There were some specific scenes that we shot for Infinity War that I'm not going to tell you which one it was. Can we tell them? Not uh, saying what it is, but it's... Well, it is now at the very beginning of Endgame. Yeah, we definitely wanted both movies to work together but feel very different. The idea was that uh, they would have different tones and different structures. And so if you've seen both of them, you know for sure that that first movie, Infinity War, is a bit of a relentless smash and grab. End game, it's a little more luxurious. It takes a little longer and it rolls around in things a little bit more. So towards that end, we made some really big decisions and some really big swings about how these characters were going to accept the snap, right? And how they were going to deal with that. The idea that you were gonna have a definitive third act, that you were gonna end things, you were gonna escort characters off the stage, was really appealing to us as writers because it allowed you to tell different types of stories. I think that's what I like best about the movie is the characters who are escorted off the stage in one way or another really do feel like they have reached the end of their MCU story. There's not a fast and loose, you know, thousand page Bible from which you are meant to mm -hmm. collect things. And Marvel's a strangely small shop, so when we're working there, you can just go to the bathroom and run into Peyton Reed or Taika Waititi or somebody like that and, and get stuff that way. We Google like everybody else. <laughs> but the, a big breakthrough came uh, for this movie when we were we Googled something uh, in the Ant-Man universe and mm. went, oh, hey, hang mm. on, hold on. And it, it's very helpful. The puzzle piece <laughs> fit in very nicely. We're invested in, in the cut all along the way and we watch the cut along the way. Uh, and if an ad-lib line either is hilarious or helps move the plot forward or what have you, um, we're all for it. And because usually we'll get credit for it anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> but in watching the final cut, the thing that's always new to us is the final music yeah. and the final effects, which take take something that was at an 80 and put it at 100. Mm. And, you know, you put Alan Silvestri in <laughs> when we're not looking and all of a sudden it's like, wow, yeah. we're much better writers than I thought. That's right. <laughs>